From an incredibly touching developer tribute to a secret that'll break your heart, these are the saddest easter eggs in video games. Marvel's Midnight Suns is usually full of action and comedy, so when you walk up to a tree and find Luke W was here, you wouldn't expect the story behind it to be so sad. Before the game came out, a 23 year old named Luke was diagnosed with an illness that only gave him a few months to live. He made a bucket list that included three things, a puppy for his mom, a hog roast, and the chance to play Midnight Suns. Now despite its release being a year away, the devs crunched to get a playable version just for Luke, and he actually got to try it before he passed. He's now forever immortalized with this carving, and the devs also made sure his name would live on in the credits. And while that's seriously thoughtful of them, so are the hidden memorials in Just Cause 4. Scattered throughout the map, you can find tons of plaques for developers' loved ones, and if that wasn't sad enough, there's an extra special one hiding in this cave. At the very end, you'll find a bag of dog food and a memorial that reads Maddie to honor one of the devs' dogs. Easter eggs can be truly sad when they tell you a story, and in Fallout 4 there's an NPC that you can find named Arlen Glass. If you track down the lost tape and give it to him, it'll play a recording of his family's voices, which he hasn't heard in such a long time. Hi daddy, I love you. When are you coming home? Arlen tells us that he used to work all day and never saw his family, so when the nukes dropped, he ran home from the office and there was only a crater left. Thanks to us finding the tape, Arlen is finally able to get some closure. I never thought I'd hear their voices again. You can't imagine what this means to me. It's equally as touching as this story in Sea of Thieves. Around the map, you'll find 22 journals belonging to a pirate known as Glitterbeard, where he appreciates nature, kindness, and life at the sea. Once you've found them all, only one will remain, and you're told to go to a place called Plunder Valley. Here, you can find a tree covered in bottles, and if you want to activate it, eight people have to play instruments at the right locations. And I just gotta say, when the Easter egg finally begins, it is truly beautiful. Inside the cave, it reveals the final journal, and you learn Glitterbeard is the nickname of James White, a developer who worked at Rare that passed away in 2020. His co-workers decided to immortalize him in Sea of Thieves, and people are still doing this easter egg to this day. And players of Titanfall 2 can also find an easter egg that's incredibly touching. One of the game's most dedicated creators is Iniquity, he spent years supporting the community, and the devs are very familiar with his content. So when his dog of 18 years passed away, they really wanted to give him a fitting send-off. Respawn dropped a new call sign banner that any player could use, and as you guys can see, this dog was truly a good boy until the very end. In Jedi Fallen Order, once you reach the planet of Ilum, you can climb up a wall to find this meditation spot. The Echo says that it belonged to a Jedi named Marty Cameron, also known as Bucky. Now eventually a developer revealed that this was a personal tribute to his dad, who passed away before the game released. His father was actually the reason Nicholas got into level design, and even worked on a Star Wars game back in 1997. Nick shared a word about the reference, and said all of that history makes leaving this tribute to him extra special, because it exists within a world that we shared, and now he gets to live on. Honestly, such a beautiful story. And God of War Ragnarok also has a tribute, and this is one you guys might really need the tissues for. Back in 2019, two devs at Sony Santa Monica met for the first time, Sam Hendrick and Jake Snipes. Now it wasn't long before the two fell in love, and they even baked pies for all of their co-workers. Ragnarok was actually the first game they worked on together, and they wanted to leave an easter egg to celebrate, but sadly in 2020, Jake passed away. Sam was rightfully devastated, but decided to continue with the idea of the easter egg, and the rest of the dev team went above and beyond. It was originally only going to be a simple heart with their initials, but after Jake passed, the team made it into an entire side quest. It now features a rainbow campfire, and in Sam's own words, it's a story of two men who find each other in an often cruel world who find a place to belong simply with each other. Lightening the mood a little bit, we have a memorial hiding inside Doom Eternal. It's a super heartwarming easter egg and it all revolves around this book, but I'll let Markiplier explain more. One of these books has an easter egg. There. How to Comb Your Mustache, Clifton M. Fishbach. That's my dad's name. And my dad had a killer mustache. Here's a picture of my dad with a mustache. Losing your dad is tough, but immortalizing him in the Doom universe forever is truly legendary. Another tribute is in Spider-Man Miles Morales, and it involves a police officer named Jefferson Davis who sacrifices himself to save lives. Now he's a true hero, and as most Marvel fans will know, he's actually the father of Miles Morales. So years later in Harlem, you can actually pay respects to him, and the game gives you the sweetest trophy, reminding you to never give up. And Peter Parker also 
also has his own version of this easter egg in the original game. Now you've always been able to visit the grave of Uncle Ben who died before the game's story, but spoiler alert, at the end they also kill off Aunt May and if you return here afterwards, she'll be buried right next to him. And my favorite part is the first time you visit the graveyard, a trophy will pop up with Stan Lee's famous quote, With great power comes great responsibility. Over on the DC side of things, Batman also famously lost loved ones. We've heard the origin story time and time again, but it's not that often you get to visit the scene of the crime. In Arkham City, that's exactly what you do, although the scene is pretty morbid. You'll see the chalk line of your deceased parents, and if you guys were wondering, you could of course pay respects. Although you're definitely going to need tissues on hand the next time you play Skyrim because you might bump into Eric the Slayer. This NPC is based on a massive Elder Scrolls fan named Eric West who called himself a mock the Slayer online. In 2009, he was diagnosed with cancer and the Make-A-Wish Foundation offered to take him on a tour of Bethesda Studios. During the tour, his knowledge of the series impressed the devs so much, they decided to break the rules and give him an even more in-depth look. And this is where they promised they'd put him into Skyrim as an NPC. In the years that followed, Eric's condition got worse and he said to his mom if this does happen, I'm going to be smiling right to the end. Sadly, Eric ended up passing in May 2011, six months before Skyrim came out. He never got to play, but his NPC lives on, and thanks to Eric the Slayer, millions of people have experienced his joy without ever even realizing it. And in Far Cry New Dawn, make sure to go to the Fang Center because here you'll find a crypt that seems like a basic room. Now, most people would grab the loot and leave, but if you throw an explosive down here, the grave will reveal its true owner, who's named Boomer. What makes this so sad is that it's actually your dog from the previous game, who's now buried right in front of you. Heading back to Fallout 4, which is a post-apocalyptic world, you're obviously going to find some sad easter eggs. One of the most depressing is at Big John Salvage, where there's a bunker inside that shows a couple who died in each other's arms. And somehow, this scene gets so much worse. As you turn the corner, you'll find two unmarked greys with a baseball glove and a teddy bear, so this family had to have went through some extremely dark times. Sticking with Bethesda, if you didn't already love them for Eric's Skyrim NPC, wait until you hear about this. Seven years ago, a user made a Reddit post called Thank You Bethesda. Bethesda in Fallout 4. He described how the game let him get closer with his dad and recently helped him through a tragedy that happened in his life. His younger brother was in the ICU and the situation wasn't looking good, but they both loved Fallout. The little brother even once said he wanted to be a super mutant so that they could travel the world together forever. Unfortunately, a few days later, the post was updated saying, he didn't make it. I lost my friend. Our kids were supposed to grow up together. Rest in peace. Now, thanks to Bethesda, the story doesn't have to end there. They sent Andrew a care package with a handwritten letter, but that was just the start. When the Nuka World DLC released, a brand new character appeared in game Evan, an extremely friendly guy who makes your day. I suppose it's because I don't like to judge people until I get to know them. Let's just say that I've been out there and I know that the world can be a cool and unfriendly place. Another Easter egg that's super easy to miss is in GTA 5. As you walk through the park, there's a very small detail that only a few players will notice, and it's right on this bench. It simply reads in memory of Chris Edwards, but despite the reputation of GTA, this is actually a real person. From 2005 to 2014, Chris Edwards worked at Rockstar and was a senior artist on a ton of GTA titles. He sadly passed away in his sleep, and despite all the other benches in-game being destructible, it is impossible possible to destroy Chris's. And those were the saddest Easter eggs in video games. It's been Sammy. Keep it here on T5G.